Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today we're going to be doing a Tupador review. And this is my gallon Tupador from Sistema. I will leave the link below in the description so that you may purchase this if you'd like through an Amazon affiliate link. I will receive partial credit for that, just letting you know beforehand. But uh, this was originally brought to my attention as an option years ago. Uh, people were using Tupperdoors. And this particular brand, I searched out on Amazon because of the fact that it actually has a lining. A lining. <laughs> I don't know, it might be too bright in the garage, but it actually has a, a seal at the top of this particular unit. So you can kind of see right here this little blue strip that goes all the way around. And then obviously it has the clasps down at the bottom. So that just allows for the seal on the Tupperdoor to be very strong and to make sure that all of my Integra Boost packs do their job for the cigars that are in here. Currently smoking a cigar that had a little bit of wrapper damage when I threw it in there, but it's smoking pretty well in the Vigados. Alrighty, so let's set that down to the side. Let's get into this. Inside of my Sistema Tupperdoor, and I know that you can only see the top of it, but there is a little bit of different uh, cedar strips that I have used from various boxes that I've had over the years. And I basically fit those in between my insert and Humi packs. So I have my Integra Boost Humi packs, and then I have my cedar strips, and then I just basically align my cigars. First one, the La Aurora Cameroon. And this was sent to me courtesy of Cigar Hound Dog. He does know that I appreciate the smaller ring gauge Lancero format. So he sends me those whenever he can. This is a Room 101 Daruma from 2011, I believe it is. We have a Davidoff limited edition 2022 courtesy of my good friend Kenny. Looking forward to reviewing that bad boy. Did have a little small crack on the wrapper. And then I have a couple of these in here, I know, but yep, there's the other one. We've got some Liga 10 year anniversarios. Got a couple left of those. You can, I'll post a link to the video at the end of this. Placentia Year of the Tiger. One of my top candidates for Cigar of the Year, no doubt. This is from PCA. This is a Gomez Sanchez, family generation number one by McAuliffe. Leanda number one. Beautiful looking cigar. I believe brand new for PCA 2022. Really looking forward to smoking this bad boy. A Hamlet 2020, courtesy of Hamlet Cigars, part of the Rocky Patel distribution line. <sighs> Ooh, Mil Diaz, Corona Gorda by Crowned Heads. Beautiful looking cigar right there in Corona Gorda format. Really nice. Let's see here, Southern Draw, Jacob's Ladder. The initial Jacob's Ladder that I smoked, I was not a fan of. I'm looking forward to reviewing this pyramid style just to see if maybe I like it a little bit better. A Tatuaje the Face. This is one of the original three monsters that was released. Still have a few of those left. I think there's actually another one in this box. Got a couple of Cubans, a couple of Fonseca Habanos in their toilet paper wrap. That box that I told you about that's in the backyard. I don't know how Pig Jimmy does it. <laughs> I mean, I need a fan or something in here. We've got a, a Blackworks Studio Hyena. Love this Lonsdale. Beautiful cigar slash Lancero. Oh, got a Drew Estate Year of the Rat in here. It's gonna be one for the channel for sure. Definitely gonna be a review. We have the Satin Glove by the Tatuaje Surrogate line. Satin Glove, never had one of those. Looks good. Got some Kappa Speciales. So a T110 Kappa Special, and then the old school softbox press Kappa Special. 
So last year and years prior, <laughs> love that Capa Especial, love it. We all remember the Tabernacle, Connecticut Broadleaf. This is the Tabernacle David, Connecticut Broadleaf. From our review, post one of those in the descriptions. We've got a CAO LX2. This is courtesy of Cigar and Hound Dog as well in Robusto. Beautiful looking cigar. Placencia Sixto, Amba Fuerte Maduro. Really nice. Sixto 2 Hexagon, Alma Fuerte, 6x60 Placencia. Love it. We have uh, some of Uncle Bob. He was obviously one of the reviews on the channel in Lancero and in Robusto, the gray line. So Uncle Bob, master cigar box maker. Little LBD, this was courtesy of Cigar Hound Dog as well, room 101. Really looking forward to this. This was a limited edition for Valentine's Day, I believe it was, by Room 101. <laughs> Got a flavored cigar in here. Got the limited edition acid with the Bronx Brooklyn Bridge colorway, courtesy of Drew Estate. They released this back, I believe it was IPCPR back before it was PCA uh, 2018 was when they had those. All right, let's see here. We have a little Paul Garmanian PG. Wonderful connoisseur line of cigars. We've got, oops. We've got the Rembrandt Sacred Art by El Septibo that I believe that I got at the Big Smoke last year, if I'm not mistaken. Got a punch, little egg roll which supposedly was one of the best of the punch releases. So looking forward to that. Have a La Aurora Cameroon Perfecto, courtesy of Cigar Hound Dog. Looking forward to smoking that bad boy. Oh, this is a work of art Maduro from Fuente. Beautiful cigar. Always try to keep those on hand. Got a couple of Lucky clove, four leaf clovers, courtesy of La Flor Dominicana with the beautiful candela wrapper and the four leaf clover etched in it. A couple of those, gotta review those. Miss St. Patty's Day this year. Another Tatuaje Monster. This is the Wolfman. And an LX2 in Bellicoso or in the Torpedo format. We have a one of the last Trinidad Vigias from my trip in 2017 to Cuba. We have a Monte Cristo White Series in Toro. Standard Monte White Series, one of the best-selling ones around the world. So it's in there for a reason. We've got a Pappy Van Winkle family reserve and this I believe is the new 60 if I'm not mistaken we have got a Matilde from Serena the Matilde cigars the Serena fantastic smokes have not reviewed this yet on the channel but thoroughly looking forward to it I'm gonna start to start to load these up on the other side we have a Herrera Esteli Tienda exclusive and this is in lancero format connecticut broadleaf lancero by herrera esteli first time looking forward to reviewing these real soon got actually have a couple of these got to get got to get around to it got to quit playing games <sighs> all righty so what's left well we have an oliva siri o robusto we have a couple of Room 101 custom Hushachas. Hushachas. Aganorsa Leaf, Supreme Leaf. And we did this review with the old label. Diesel, Stubborn Fool. And I was really looking forward to fitting this in in the last couple of months as a review. And then Cigar Hound Dog reviewed it. And I was less excited about reviewing it. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have a Southern Draw, Rosa Sharon, one of my favorite sticks from last year. Made the honorable mentions in the top, you know, in the top honorable mentions for sure. Another one from last year's top cigars of the year, 2021, Davidoff Dominicana, 2014. We have got a Diesel, another one, Esteli Puro, Puro, Escasos. So our Scotch pairing cigar, courtesy of our friends over at our, our former <laughs> Diplomatico guys, got together and started their own cigar label. Congrats, boys. The Drone 3000, I believe this is, which was one of the more economic sticks back in the day. Another Dom Pepin blue label, this time in Robusto, short Robusto. A La Atelier. I believe that these are one of the more underrated lines by Pete Johnson. They pair so well with a lot of wine. Romeo y Julieta, Pyramid, Habanos. <laughs> we have a Nub Connecticut, which Pick Jimmy and Cigar Hound Dog, I believe, both reviewed in the last month here. So I'll get around to it. Promise, promise, boys. Roma Craft. And this, I believe, is the Cro Magnum. Right? Cro Magnum? Yeah. Cro Magnum with the Candela Barber Pole on it. Really, really cool cigar. We have got one of the new LFD Reserva Specials. So looking forward to smoking that. And one of the Room 101 Namakubes, limited edition. Let's see, I have got, this was also from Cigar Hound Dog. This is the Nazari, which is an Esteli Nicaraguan smoke that I believe he said was one of the closest that he was able to come towards a Cuban-esque profile. We have got a Caldwell, the king is dead. Smoked several of these. I believe that the last one of these that I got was actually at the end, the premier whiskey kind of tasting experience from a few years back. So that one most likely has some age on it. And I'm just gonna take a quick second and create some space here by throwing in all of my cellos at the bottom and getting the non-cello cigars at the top. 500th Anniversario, HVC. And we've got a Carolina Blue. Looking forward to throwing a new one of these up on the channel. Got some more Uncle Bob's. This time the Uncle Bob's are in the black label. We have got a Cohiba. This is the Royale in the red dot. I have not smoked a Cohiba Red Dot in over a decade, so <laughs> I have been prolonging that one, but I'm gonna give it its, I'm gonna do the due diligence. Gotta do it. Gotta do the due diligence. Found another Red Meat Lover EKB in case you need one. <laughs> Steve Saka, Dumbarton Tobacco and Trust, Red Meat Lover is there. And then last but not least, we have two left. So we have the El Wawense five year anniversario in Perfecto coming to us from good old Foundation Cigars and Nick Molilo. And the mainstay, the everyday, the everyday hustler as I call it, the everyday like go to, the Oliva V Lancero, which in a garage setting such as this one would probably be an easy go-to because you can control the airflow and the temperature is the temperature the wind everything is very stable in here so Lanceros and smaller engage cigars tend to perform exceptionally well when you can control the environment and control the space alrighty so that has been the entire humidor tour I would like to do probably another humidor review or coolador review or um, tupador review over the next couple of months and maybe like we'll, maybe next month we'll do for September we'll do the big coolador and then we'll get into some of the smaller ones for anybody that is interested in the Sistema this is probably under 20 bucks for this gallon container and I mean you can see I have about a good 70 cigars in here right now, 50 to 70. So it's a great option if you want something inexpensive. Uh, pickle jars work really well. 
it's just the, the scent that you kind of have to get removed with some vinegar and stuff before you utilize them. But basically anything with a solid seal I've used <laughs> in my history of smoking cigars. So I do like the Sisema system. I will leave a link below. And you can use any cedar from any boxes at your local tobacco shop that they let you have usually for free or for a couple of bucks you tip them. They give you a whole bunch of cedar strips, a whole bunch of boxes that you can then pull some cedar out of and just line the sides of the box. And that just really helps to maintain the humidity, give the cigar something to bounce off of as far as humidity goes. But this has been my, my Tupador review, and I thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will catch you again for another Humidor review.